What makes a game franchise? That was the question that me, Turbo, Vija, Earthart, and T-Bird all asked following the Guinness Book of Gaming Records publication of the top 50 game franchises. Now, it may seem quite straightforward to you and me, what may be in the top 10, say, Zelda, Mario, but in a public vote on a games organisation that frankly is sponsored by Microsoft for the most part, there were some rather notable absentees. It's quite a funny one this one, so enjoy. <laughs> to another brand new episode of the not so much Sonic Hour. Uh, I am Vija, the gracious host this evening, fill-in host, and I am joined by two very special guests. Say hello. Say hello. Or not. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 
Hold on. Are we back? Hello, Roris. Hello. <laughs> is the uh, other guy... Yes. Oh, call failed for the other guy. As soon as, soon as, you, <laughs> as, soon as you asked to say hello, the call dropped. I know. Oh, oh God. Are we? We'll get Earthfall back. We will. <laughs> oh, my apologies to everyone. I appear to have got some sort of monster. I must have left the trap door open again. No, I think that's Earth Art. Right. We have uh, we have a Shadow Earth Art as well. Yes, yeah, supposedly. Mm. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and we're filling in once again for the Sonic Hour. Um, there is no plan, as I was informed that I was hosting this ten minutes ago. So. Indeed. We're, we're, like we're going to wing it. State. Yes, I, 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 think, I think I'm doing brilliantly, aren't I? Mm. <laughs> You're the best substitute host called VJ we've ever had. I'm the only substitute host called VJ you've ever had. No, don't fiddle about with specifics. <laughs> all right, so we're all here now. What are we going to rant about for the next hour? Well, it's 50 Sonic, minutes. Supposedly, considering it's the Sonic Hour. It's yes. It's the Substitute's Hour. The, the Substitute Sonic Hour. Mm. Well, how many uh, substitute Sonics do we know? Substitute there's Sonic Shadow, Sonic. there's Silver, there's... Scourge. Scourge, can't yeah. forget Scourge. Metal Sonic, mm. Metal Scourge. <laughs> the this list just goes really on and cool. on. You, you then got, you've got the original Metal Sonic, you've got the second version of Metal Sonic. It just keeps going, doesn't it? Uh, there's, uh, I'm looking at the chat and you've got Sonic AD. Mm. Substitute Sonic. Um... Who else is there? Uh, there's a distinct lack of Sonics, actually, in the yeah. chat room. Rather disturbing. Should we go, should Sonic, we go through Sonic. the chat room? Yes, that's probably a good idea. It's, okay. Um, uh, VJ, go ahead. Right, we have from the bottom up, just to keep things interesting, underscore Spondy. Uh... Now you see, he's at the top of my list. So. He's at the top of my list as well. Is he? You, you've ruined it already. <laughs> Am I? Oh dear. <laughs> it's, it's at the bottom of mine. Okay. All right, we'll go from the top. Hurry up, then. Kev. I thought I thought we were taking turns here. Oh, oh screw it! I'll do it. Chambox. There we go. The Almighty. MK. Spondy. Supposedly AAUK. Anime Girl, Double N, Gerbil Sock, Guest 66974, Hedgy Lightning, Jacob, Loco Cat, Pico Pico, Resident SD, Reptic, Tinkle Fox, Gotti Shade, Shadow Fox 04, Sonic AD, so so what? Sonic Tanyan, Spin, The Militron, Trekkie, Erfart, and Vija Hour. You mean supposedly? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who else would he be? It's, it's, a, it, it's a trap. <laughs> it's really. Dum dum dum. Spin. A B no 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 no, no. <laughs> I'm just I'm just <laughs> pretending to miss my own show. And then come on as a guest. Yes, then come hang on, on as a guest. I want I'm just gonna check something. With, Who wants to bet he's doing exactly the same thing he was doing last week? Or playing Xbox Live. While his show was supposed to be on, yeah. Yeah. Well it also like, this is the thing of people sort of wondering why we're a bit Sort of semi miffed about it is that there's been no noise out of him for a month. You're kidding his me. Own show. Yeah. You're kidding me. Not only is he playing the Xbox, mm. he's also playing exactly the same game, N. Right, well, maybe he needs to review it or something. I don't know. He needs to review it. The game's over a year old. Yeah. It's new to it's Xbox over... Live, though. Isn't it? I, I think I think <laughs> uh, I think Josh, you're you're trying to find some you trying to find some awesome excuses for <laughs> <laughs> for our fearless leader. For our fearless leader, uh, he. I mean, this is the, this is the as we as we have been told several times, it is the flagship of the SSR, and uh, oh, yeah. its success breeds success for SSR. Um, mm -hmm. So he's been away for a month. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, um, we do have news of the Sonic Persuasion. Yes. Well, really, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Because thank God. <laughs> in 
my hands, I have nothing, but in Beej's hands, he does have something. Yes, I have. And it's, not, and it's not what you're thinking it is. It's something else entirely and actually to do with Sonic. Yes, yes, it's, it's not a wrench. <laughs> it is a Sonic sticker book. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we got a new sticker book in the UK. Hmm. It's um, it's it's one of those fantastic pieces of. <laughs> sometimes I the flagship is missing. <laughs> it, 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 it is sunk. It's sunk. We all have apparently. So <laughs> your, I think your flagship for the last month has just been us. Just yeah. switching us. Just, just, just switching between us. And it John, don't good. forget John. And, and there's a girl this working there. Tur- yeah. Turbo's managed to keep his show going. Yeah. Uh, there, there are quite a few shows going. I mean, oh, yeah. I think Biafra is one still going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh... Speed Nux did a special this week as well. Mm-hmm. Indeed. So, picking up the slack of our fearless leader. leader. And by <laughs> fearless, we, we do need... <laughs> if we picked up any more slack, we'd just sort of... We'd be running the whole show. buckle. <laughs> And I think Blitz Chris does his show still, but to yeah. be perfectly honest, it's like God knows what time of the morning. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I do a morning show. There's nothing wrong with morning shows. It's, it's very quiet. For the prime time the show, the prime time show is a bunch of other DJs wondering where the hell the other DJ is. Ah. Oh. <laughs> but yes, yeah, sticker book. Yeah. Uh, this is one of those very these glorious things where. Um, I mean, you guys know the situation mm. with the licensing. There's all these bloody licenses floating around yeah. the place. Um, there, there are occasions where um, stuff comes up, which is like, ooh, that's new. Didn't know about that. Mm. Um, unsurprisingly, you can classify this uh, sticker book as, oh, that's new. <laughs> Didn't know about that. Mm-hmm. The, the reason we knew about this was because um, somebody tweeted to at Sega uh, when I was actually on it, and they mm-hmm. said, "Hey, look, this is uh, this is out in W. H. Smith like now. Wow, it's really cool." He obviously um, hadn't he opened it yet. <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah it's, it's good. I um, I let the people. People know it, say, mm. it's like, hey, you know, we've got a sticker book out for Sonic. Like, like, oh, no. Oh, um, awesome. Yeah. Thing. So just describe what it entails, Phil, as you're the one who's actually got a copy. Okay, well, it ha- well it's a book, and it has um, these empty spaces where you buy stickers and you stick them wait, in. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying they've sold an incomplete product? Yes. In the name of Sonic? Yes, they oh, have. Oh, Paul. And a poorly spelled product as well. <laughs> <In place. laughs> so, so I probably worked on it at some point and don't remember. Uh, so you missed the world exclusive there then. Mm, I did. That's what we're saying. Yes, I'm rather annoyed at that. I must have forgotten. <laughs> no, but there's uh, 140 stickers to collect, which, um, well, the best I can say is best of luck to you. Okay, I'm going to point out one guy in the SSFB has bought 50 packs already. Yeah, he's bought 50 packs, and he uh, he only just got over 100 stickers, original stickers. The rest are copies. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's uh, there's. Let's do the maths here. Uh, each pack of stickers has five stickers in it. Only he's, five. Only five. That's poor. That is poor, yes. Uh, cost 50p each, but then, uh, and you bought 50 packs, so 5 times 50 is uh, 250. 250. So out of 250, he only just got over 100. So that equals he's got over a, he's over half the stickers he's got are um, 150. Yeah, over half of his stickers are copies. And uh, I have I bought about ten st- ten packs of stickers so far, and I have twenty three non copies. Well, copied. Uh, well, twenty three stickers. 
This is why this is why we invented this term called swapsies. Yes, <laughs> the, I can see a big industry for it at SOS. Hmm. I can. I can as well. Actually, we might need this. Might require. I yeah. might ask this. Uh, who's this factory? Somebody. Yeah. Uh, hold on, I've got I've I've got the thing here. It's uh, Factory Entertainment. Factory Entertainment. I may see if I can get hold of Factory Entertainment and go, hey, do you sell a load of stickers? Yes. <laughs> because so do we. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so ba- basically, that's about it. Oh dear, that took nine minutes. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. But um, wasn't there, um, uh, I hearing reports mm-hmm. on uh, this other thing? Other thing? There used to be some, there was going to be something in it, and then... Oh, now, oh yes, uh, there is reference in the front on the second page. It says, enter an amazing universe and learn about Sonic the Hedgehog and his friends. Collect all the exciting character stickers and look out for the rare foil shiny stickers to complete the pull-out wall poster. One problem with that. There is no wall poster, and there are no shiny stickers. Hang on a sec. Kevin, I think somebody else wants into the um, cluster buggery. Ooh. Uh, well, I've seen two people materialise, so <coughs> who is that? Which of the two? One is one that I think just got added to the conversation. Oh, yes, I see him. Uh, there is a... Oh, there he is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Speak, and guest. Speak, speak and be known. Yes, this is Turbo of Turbo Drive Live, and I'd like to point out, uh, Phil. Yes. I hate you because you're covering something that I covered last uh, the other night. Thank you very much. Well, well I covered it again this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Uh, okay, then. It's That's a slow news week. Twice. <laughs> it's a slow news week for the love of God. <laughs> Let's be honest. How much else news is there? No. Uh, oh, oh no! It was confirmed that Sonic uh, that Sonic Four is in full high definition. Yeah, for the 360 and PS3. Yes. Uh, th- 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 that's I didn't that's it. That because that wasn't yeah. updated on the Friday on the Friday night. So there you go. That yeah. that was an exclusive you could have been bantering on about. For hey, I well, I did that this morning. I broke the news in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> So, so what, is, what, 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 what else is there? Come on, Kev. You're, what is there? That's it. Well, That's it. Well, we could, well obviously, we could, uh, obviously, non-related to Sonic, obviously. <gasps> even though, the, the, even though the, not, uh, the news story was done ages ago, uh, we could probably talk about the uh, Guinness World Records uh, 50 most popular franchises of all time. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd say how yeah, I'd say how bullshit uh, you know the the list is. Yeah, we can I do that. I haven't seen the list yet. Someone link me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We'll, we'll just let. I think we'll just let Josh go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 just he's not keeping up with things. He's just falling behind the times. I've been yeah. at work. Oh, <laughs> excuses, excuses. I've got work as well. I've been working on your bloody site stuff as well, but don't you complain. Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> Welcome to a family of war. <laughs> Easy airways, where obviously family matters. Damn right. Occasionally. <laughs> Through family. Right, okay. Josh. But yeah. There you go. There's a link for you, sir. So yeah, this was obviously covered uh, the other week, and obviously... Most of us was uh, talking about uh, Sonic the Hedgehog being numbered 15, but I had a look at the rest of the list. I think some of it should really be in there. Um, in particular, uh, one one entry, number 31, uh, GoldenEye 007. Yeah. How is that how a franchise? Can, yeah. How can that be a franchise? If if it said. James Bond 007 franchise. Fair yeah. enough, because there are other James Bond games yeah. out there that I particularly like, uh, like uh, Agent Under Fire and Nightfire. Even though Agent Under Fire didn't use the likeness of Pierce Brosnan, it mm. uses it. It uses a uh, completely different James Bond's kind of like model. Mm. Uh, but Nightfire uses J- uh, Pierce Brosnan's look likeness, but not his voice. It wasn't until you know, uh, one of the later games that they actually got 
into the studio and actually do his and uh, you know his work. But uh, no, it's just classifying Goldeneye 007. I, I, and, unless it's counting unless it's counting Goldeneye Rogue Agent, which frankly is nothing related to the Goldeneye. Uh, exactly, but then they just that as the it still makes it a franchise of sorts. Yeah. Well, well, you, you see, you can't really count. You can't really count a game that has a sequel, a franchise. That's like uh, you're counting. Uh, what is it? Uh, what, what's well, it? What I agree with you, John. There's another thing on that list which would fall under that, which would be Lego Batman. Should yeah. you just count the Lego, well, yeah. Lego Star Wars and Lego Indiana Jones as well, because they're basically part of the same thing. They're all controlled huh. pretty much the same. At the same for Saints Row as well. Saints Row has only had two games in a span of three years. That's the number. I, uh, I would I would let Saints Row yeah. slide to be honest, purely on the basis of actually they have had two games and a third one's planned. So it's hmm. you see, you can't, okay, fair enough. Okay, I didn't know about the third one, but um, some some of these are again another thing. Little Big Planet. I'm sorry. Yeah, it, Planet. Okay, well, fair it enough. Does. It got, just got a, an announced sequel, mm. and it got a port on the PSP, but, you know, it's a little early saying that it's at number 27, which is uh, higher than God of War, higher higher than, uh, uh, what was it, uh, what's it, Chrono yeah. Trigger, mm. higher than Gran Turismo, which is quite uh, quite funny. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, Gran Turismo, I would have thought, would be much higher, yeah. because, mm. look, it's one of Sony's flagship um, series. Yeah, and it's even higher than Pro Evolution Soccer, which is funny because many many of the football fanatics go go nuts over the football mm. games. That's why you've got like FIFA. Uh, where is that in the list? Eighteen. Uh, Eighteen. 18. Mm. You know. So really, it, this list is an absolute shambles. Well, it well, is, well, uh, well look, what we what let's do is actually just go from fifty downwards. Uh, Alright, well let's start with it. Uh, Pro Evolution Soccer is at number 15. Mm-hmm. Uh, who wants to do the next one? Uh, Crash Bandicoot is at 49. Crash Bandicoot, that's the, that's the series that's been, you know, DOA for the past <laughs> how many years? God knows. Well, well, five, well have... about five years now because, uh, what, was it? what was the last one there? It does uh, Mind of Newton. Wasn't that only two years yeah, ago? Yeah, that wasn't that far ago. Yeah, but uh, it's still, it's it's still it still hasn't really gotten off again. How many developers from... has it gone through the hands of though? Because you right, had right, right. Naughty Dog created it. Hmm. Then who did he go to? I can't remember. Uh, 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 what, what was it? Um, was it Traveller's Tales? No, um, Traveller's Tales has handled it. Um, I, I think I know who it is. I think it was what, like one of the one of the partnerships with. Activision's hmm. kind of like studios. I can't remember which one it was, but it went, uh, so it was or Sierra, Sierra. I think yeah. Sierra yeah. goes yeah. after the middle one. Sierra is the most recent acquirer. There was someone in the middle of Naughty Dog and Sierra, and I can't remember who it was. Hmm. Hmm. I can't. I can't remember uh, the history that much uh, myself. Sh- sh- no, sh- sh- to... sh- shall we move on? <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, next up is number forty-eight. Is Burnout. Mm, fair enough. Yeah. Be, yeah. yeah. That's, 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 that's a pretty fair position actually for yeah. Burnout. Well I I mean well again that's another series that's been worked since uh, the 2000s so it's like little under 10 years mm. in its uh, lifespan and within that sp- uh, time span they had uh, one two three uh, they got uh, bought out by oh, the development team uh, from Acclaim obviously got bankrupt mm. so they got bought up by EA and then they did Revenge of Paradise, so that's five games under their title. And I can actually co- commend that is one of the better, uh, like Revenge and uh, Paradise being the be- one of the better two of the franchise. Uh, because I, I never took any liking to the previous ones, but uh, Revenge and uh, per- uh, Paradise, Paradise was a little different, but Revenge, personally, one of my favorite uh, arcade racers uh, to play through. But uh, still, it's still a little low on the list. But mm. the next one, yeah, I think it would be should be in there. And yeah. uh, Josh, would you like to mention what that forty uh, seventh placed number is? You said Mario Kart. Yeah, Mario yeah. Kart of all all games. That's quite. At it's 47. quite fair. Hey, well, I, I would have thought higher. Enough sequels to be a franchise of its own. Yeah. Well, it's okay. It's got a few. It's got a few games. 
you know, under its belt to be classed as its own franchise. Oh, but uh, I've got two. I've got two questions. Why so low, and why is it not bundled with Mario in general? Yeah, that is true. Uh, I've got... At what point does a sub at what point does a sub franchise slash spin off become is its own franchise? This is, I think, going to be part of the argument because, yeah. you know, if you're going to class Mario as an entire series, you have to class every single game. Yeah. So you've got Mario Party, which has had what mm. seven sequels or more? God knows. Um, mm. uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's got about like six or seven sequels. Six or seven. You've got the Paper Mario and the Mario and Luigi series, which have both had three. Mm. Uh, yeah, Wario. Got so many different branching stuff. Yeah, yeah, Wario, uh, even Luigi's Mansion. Yoshi yeah. spin-off, Princess Peach. It, it, yeah. it, it, it gets Yoshi's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, it's well, like yeah. the... their own direction. You've had Wario Land 1 to 4, Wario World, which is a bit shit, Wario Land Shake It, which... Uh, was on the Wii, and, you know, Warriors had his, basically got his own series, but do you well, he's, got, he's, also, he's also got his other series, this is absolutely annoying as hell, uh, the WarioWare series as well. So, it really, annoying, it's, a, it's, it's like a big comp. tree. <laughs> like, the Mario franchise is just one big tree of, like, confused roots, you know, that intertwine in different directions, that is just an absolute mess. It's like the ride at 13. You know, in Alton Towers, you know, so it's just like the roots are just going around and just like twisting. <laughs> it's like, it's ugly. <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> mo- mo- moving on from Mario Kart and but, but, uh, roller coasters. Remember well, listeners, where Mario Kart was, because it actually affects an argument which we're going to have later on. Yeah. So, um, next up, um, we've already mentioned it, uh, a 46 Lego Batman, which... Don't yeah. really qualify. One, <laughs> yeah. One game. Yeah, One game. Like, okay, again, we would have loved it if it was like Batman as a franchise. Because mm. Batman gaming wise, he's had a few games. Like mm. uh, back in the day on the NES, uh, everyone in the States would remember this one. Uh, Batman on the NES uh, as a whole was a very good game. And then it obviously spawns sequels. It also spawns, it, obviously, the movies themselves, you know release, like, uh, their old games. Yeah. Yep. Shit ones, mind you, but still, you know. Uh, just, even if you would take the other side of the coin and go the Lego franchise, mm. actually, that's yeah. done fairly well. Yeah, actually, to, to be honest, I enjoyed Lego Batman thoroughly. I enjoyed Lego Star Wars Complete Saga quite thoroughly. Mm. I've certainly yeah. got nothing against the Lego franchise. They're all a bit samey, but actually, considering the audience you're trying to target, which is little tiny kiddies, they got they got themselves set, yeah. Yeah. Like, um, again, this Lego, this separating out Lego from the franchise it's attached to is actually going to come back very shortly. Mm. Right. It's back to be free. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, next one. On the, uh, next one, we can probably kind of forgive, uh, being it's a PC title, title Diablo at number forty-five. Yeah, uh, considering uh, how many expansion packs it's had as well. Mm. Uh, and that can, uh, that can be understandable, because uh, there is actually going to be a Diablo 3, which is which is good. Uh, and of course the amount of expansion packs that the first game, uh, first two games had is fine, fine, fine and dandy. So for that, we're not actually having much com- uh, complaining uh, about that. Uh, next one we'll probably won't be complaining about, which is... Uh, Battlefield. Yeah. Yeah, it's had enough ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bang Next up is Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah, I see. See previous Lego argument. Yeah. 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 Um, why just Battlefront <laughs> on its own? I have absolutely no idea. Mm. Uh, it's yeah. not like Star Wars itself hasn't had you know many, 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 many titles. Um, why pick on Battlefront? God alone knows. <laughs> really. I mean, yeah. To, to be fair, to be fair on that one. The only thing I'll say is you do get hugely different. I mean, you've got with the Star Wars series, you've got your action games, you've got your first person shooter games with the Dark Forces mm. games, RPG, flight sims with the X-Wing games. Yeah, it, it, you know, is they, so they, they've different. done everything. The only thing they haven't done is a, a platforming game, pretty much. No, no, wait, don't wait, don't, don't, don't say that. that. Sorry. Yeah. 
back on the uh, back on the SE, uh, SNES. Yes, yes, I forgot. And the Game Boy. Uh, fighter as well, and yeah. um, they've done everything. Mm. They've uh, they haven't done. I did the puzzle. Oh, I did the puzzle. yes, we have. Yes. yes. What? Yeah, I remember a Gargo one, definitely. Oh, God! Oh, yes. You right. think Sweatblock's <laughs> gonna die? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. I yes. love I love the way this next one's labelled. The answer to everything number 42 is Tom <laughs> Clancy's... <laughs> anything, yeah, anything. Any title in there. Why the Sith? Didn't you yeah. do that with the rest of them? Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. You know, well, like, well, well, maybe they needed to pad it a bit. Maybe they needed to pad their list a bit and said, let's just subdivide it a bit further. Yeah, but, but but even then, it doesn't... I'm sure there must be 50 franchises out there that could have just named. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Let, let, let's look at one that's not on the list. Where's Spyro? Spyro's had enough sequels. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he's, kind of, he's kind of gone down the toilet the last few years, but a and was a good franchise when he started. I think that's one of the ones they forgot. Mm. Well, it's... Seems to be the way it goes, isn't it? Mm. But yeah, Let's be honest, Tom Clancy Tom first made up this list. Mm. I, 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 think it's ju- I think what they did is they just... Right, let's stick a bunch of game franchises on a dartboard and fire darts at it. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, they definitely had that uh, emphasis with the next one, obviously. Oh, yeah. Pong. Simple as that. Pong. Yeah, that's it. Pong. It's like, how can you make a franchise out of a tennis game that was, like, made in 1975? Right, well, it's, it's, I mean, how many sequels has it had? One. None! It's all the same! There, 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 was, a, there was a Pong 2, actually. <laughs> it's, still the, it's still the same, though. There's, there's I'd, nothing different. I'd like to add another one to our list of where is it. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the basis that Pong... Where's Space Invaders? Oh! That's true! Because Where they haven't had many sequels. Yeah. Is that they had, it? In fact, they had it had a remake as well. You know, a very shitty remake, mind you, but it was still a remake. Made it extreme! And, extreme! And while we're on it, where's Tetris? Yes! That's true. Well, that's, that's I demand my Tetris! <laughs> There's some very bizarre yeah. things. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I don't, I don't yeah. think much the thought went into it. The series that's rated greater than Pong at number 40 is Ratchet and uh, Clank. Yes. I can agree Which, with that. Well, they've had seven or eight games, so... Yeah. Well, that, that, that's fair enough. Yeah. Uh, but, again, another, but again, another franchise that is getting underwhelmed by all the other ones that yeah. are above it. Certainly, I, course, I just yeah. stuck it higher. Yeah. It's, it's a very strong franchise. It's still fairly new. Yeah. Comparatively. In terms, well, it's, 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 in terms of Sony, in terms of Sony, it's your franchise, really. Mm. It's one um, of the eight. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 for, for the modern era, it's probably one of the few real character-driven franchise games. Yeah. Oh, actually, here, that actually reminds me of another franchise that is not on there. The Jack series. True. Because that, that was it. That was it. But the, uh, that was like its head rival, R- uh, mm. Ratchet and Clank, the Jack series. Were it made by the same company? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, no, 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 actually, Ratchet and Clank is done by Insomniac, Jack yeah. is made by Naughty Dog. Ah. Mm. Uh. The, the, the question, I thought Jack, I thought Jack was supposed to retire Sonic as well. That worked out well. <laughs> Uh, Ratchet, uh, what was it, Jack and Daxter, well... Oh no, wait, the, sorry, I'm getting just, mixed up. No, yeah. Jack, uh, Jack and Daxter is not yeah. the, nothing like it. It was just basically competing against uh, uh, Ratchet and Clank. Mm. Ba- basically, Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter had that kind of like yeah. Mario and Sonic, new age Mario and Sonic. Yeah, it was, it was, it was good, it really does. I mean, I've well, still, yeah, not, I've still not played any of the games. <laughs> of course, Jack and Daxter is not in there. Hmm. Which is kind of which is kind of confusing. So anyway, yeah. I mean, I guess obviously because it hasn't had a the next. PSP. Obviously, it hasn't had a next gen kind of like uh, sequel. You know, I'm sure. It's, I'm sure. Ja- uh, I'm sure they've had a next gen one, haven't they? Uh, no, no, they have. Oh yeah, they've had two PSP ones. Oh, that must be what I'm thinking of. Anyway, oh, well, mm-hmm. well, I'd like to raise a point here that D'Artagnan made, which is to remember that Mario itself is a spin-off. Good point. 
<laughs> so Mario <laughs> should be eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially what we're saying here is that all it's Mario games are essentially Donkey Kong games? Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, so it's yeah. like a spin off of a spin off of a spin off. Uh, I didn't remember that Sonic, Sonic, Sonic appeared in um, Rad Mobile first, so does that mean that <laughs> everything. <laughs> no, but, but that, that, that was just a cameo. That, uh, he was just on the dashboard, wasn't he? He, he wasn't a playable character. Guys, we've got 20 minutes to do the rest of it. Right, uh, OK. Let, 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 let's speed this up a bit. If we go a bit into my time, I don't mind so much. Um, but so get, moving on next, um, at first nine, probably in the place where it's sort of acceptable, maybe, mm. StarCraft. Hmm. I mean, uh, StarCraft, again, Again, it's one of those PC titles that is borderlining a franchise. With It's only had it's only had two main games, but it's had expansion it packs again. Uh, I think it is now. Uh, it is now. I, th- I think so. I've seen enough videos of it to think it's out now. But again, it's borderlining, mm. because obviously it didn't have... It, it's... Sequel has been in limbo for the past three years. Well, they've been working hard on it, making it as good as they can, as good as it can be. Because they've been working so hard on World of Warcraft at the time as well. Mm. No, which is fair enough because World of Warcraft. Actually, is World of Warcraft on that list? I think so. Uh, I think it's fairly near the top. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, it is. It'll be there. I think if they missed World of Warcraft, dear Lord, what are they thinking? (laughs) Yeah, well, you see, that's again another thing we'll get back to that. Mm. Uh, Yeah. Next one. Uh, Uh, Yeah, yeah, go ahead. uh, Number 38, Gran Turismo. Should have been higher. Yeah. I think if if they've actually released the proper PSP version, that they've been, they've been yeah, teasing. They were promising. <laughs> they were yeah. promising for like three years. That would be it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Deserves to be down there in that game. Mm. <laughs> uh, but the uh, next one up from that, obviously, totally trumps that. Uh, Chrono Trigger. Now again, Chrono Trigger. That's only it's one not, game. Yeah, it's yeah. only had one game. Why? Why are people thinking that Chrono Trigger, as a game, is a franchise? Chrono is has a franchise, Chrono Cross, Chrono uh, Crusade, mm. um, or something like that. Um, I don't know if Chrono Crusade is actually part of the same franchise, but uh, even though it's an enemy. Um, it's not. It's not, okay, fair enough. Uh, but the Chrono games as a whole, you know, would be classed as a franchise. But no, they've just singly said... Chrono Trigger is a franchise. That's because that's the only one anyone actually has ever heard of. Mm. The well, thing everyone, is, well is some harder, you know, some more de- dedicated fans to Square Enix titles would know that there is other games in that. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, they, 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 they could have just put Chrono Series and people would have got it, I'm sure. You see, that's what I would have thought. Mm. I would have thought that they would just easily just say, um, you know, it's like uh, Need for Speed series. And it's like... Uh, mm, yeah. I think we've been, de- I think we've been deluded by this whole idea that the list is of franchises and we're expecting them to be franchises in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they're, 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 it's, we, we should just go to them and ask, what's your definition of a franchise? Because we have an argument with it. What's your, what's your definition of a game? Because it yeah. is about <laughs> games. The entire book is about games and you don't know games. Mm. Um, but the thing is, you've got to pick who's actually writing this stuff. And and, 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 not and, anyone that's actually educated in games. I, I, I think they just all sit in an office all day and think, right, we've made this games thing. We should put out some lists of games and stuff. Uh, Please remember, these are, the same, these are the same people that celebrated a brand new world record for Sonic 2 earlier. Hmm. On another this, console. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, just exa- it's the same record set on another console because hmm. there's a physical limit to the, <laughs> to the time you can set. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's new! Yeah, it's brand new. Awesome. Do we think maybe they're running out of ideas? Yes. yes. <laughs> this oh, is what ha- yes. this is what happens so when they publish a book every year. Ideas, at 36, we've got Need for Speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yes. yes. Good segue! <laughs> yeah. uh, yes. Need for Speed definitely is just one of those... Fran- uh, again, fair enough, it's a franchise, but it's at 36, so it's ranking higher than 
like uh, Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo and, mm. and higher Mario than Kart. Burnout and Mario Kart. Mm. And, you know, it's, like, it's just basically ev- everyone knows of Need for Speed based on the Underground series. Yeah. Nothing okay, more. Okay, that's the Underground is great. Underground is awesome, but... It's, yeah, but, else... but obviously everything else has been rubbish. I mean, yeah. Most Wanted was rubbish, because I played it. Played the demo, and it's rubbish. It's like, uh, Undercover mm. was even worse. And of course, the most recent one, where they co- totally just like changed the aspect of the franchise shift. Mm. You know, make it more like a, a simulator rather than an arcade racer. Yeah. And that's why I like Burnout better than, you know... Um, and uh, he can beat because it's obviously it's more yeah. arcadey. So, yeah. Alright, well, moving on. Uh, number 35, we have Left 4 Dead. With Zoe! <laughs> now, yeah, yeah it's not very this is yeah. very, very, very controversial because, again, it didn't really have a. It wasn't really a franchise to begin with until, obviously, Valve just say, oh, wait, this is uh, popular. Let's we make another one. one. We need, we need Please! We need time uh, constraints for mm. working on the Half-Life games. Oh no, here we go, we'll just release a sequel and make it a franchise. Yay! And then we'll piss everyone off because we did. We promised uh, the, the uh, downloadable content for the first one and we haven't lived on it. <laughs> so, yeah, this yeah, yeah. sounds like Valve. <laughs> oh, there's, there's this weird thing about Valve in that they, they seem like surprised mm. when, everyone, when, when somebody loves something they do, they seem incredibly surprised by it. Yeah. It was like, wow, we didn't really think it would, you know, sell and you'd like well, it. The thing is, you got then why the hell did it It was an experiment to nothing more, and they sold it. It was like, yeah, we don't really care if it sells or not. It's like, it's an experiment. Well, so, so, so is uh, many of the other uh, kind of like games that are out here mm. now for the next generation, like like Mirror's Edge. Mirror's Edge was probably the most original uh, kind of like experimentation out there this decade. Certainly. Uh, it's up there, yeah. I, uh, so, certainly, it was uh, it's the most experimentation EA's done. Right, so yeah. you know, and that's not get, well. So far, people are hinted at a, a sequel to that, but I don't yeah. think get it because obviously it's just you know it's uh, overly complicated, I guess. It, it, know, no, I don't think it ever sold that well either. Yeah, I mean, yeah. hell, you can get the game for a fiver now. Yeah, it didn't sell that well. Brand new, <laughs> brand new. I, uh, I, I, oh, I believe. Yeah, yes. 34, right. Well, I want this one, because right. this is probably, of, of everything on this list, this one probably irks me the most, because it's Skate at 34. You're telling me that Skate is better than Left 4 Dead 2, it's better than Need for Speed, it's better than Ratchet & Clank, Starcraft, Pong, Gran Turismo, every Tom Clancy game, every Star Wars game, every Lego game, Mario Kart, Burnout, Crash Bandicoot, pretty, I'll, I'll put Crash Bandicoot above it. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, Are you let, kidding well, me? Well, 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 Kev, Kev, look at the bright side of this. There's a at bright side? At least they didn't say t- uh, Tony Hawk. Because Ooh. that would have just been absolutely annoying. Hmm. But I can, still, again, I, can still gather, I can still gather your argument that their thinking of a skateboard game is better than platformers, uh, real-time strategies, uh, action-adventure titles and whatnot. I can agree upon that. And plus, again, it's a very early franchise. I mean, it's only had a and spin-off last, last, for the, the week. last one, if I'm right, just died a death. Yeah, I don't think it did too well. It, it, at retail, it just mm. it had all those lovely things with the lovely adverts with Tony, yeah, and his nice little dynamic board and the carpet that had like movement on it, yeah, and yeah, it died. <laughs> oh yeah, it went to went to a shelf somewhere, mm. and then the shelf went <laughs> and it's thrown up into the bar. Yes. Yeah, it regurgitated it. Yeah, yeah. but uh, right. anyway, I'm, but so move, move, next, move, I'm going to bundle on. the next two up because I think they apply under the same rule. Yeah. Yes. Killzone and Bioshock. But, well, well Killzone's had three yeah. games, mm. three or four. I think Killzone's had, had three, yeah. yeah. Well, and four, actually, yeah. Two, two spin-offs two. on the PSP. And, and oh, actually, no, one, no, one well, on the well, PSP, well, I think. Yeah, one, one on the PSP, one. yeah. But this is the thing, it's, it, you know, they're both very new franchises mm. within the last three years, I think. Yeah. Three, four years. To call them a franchise is, yeah. Mm. Same with Goldeneye that comes after it. Yeah, 
Okay. Piss off. <laughs> well. The next one I think we can agree on is a franchise. Uh, number thirty, well, we have God of War. It's it's got there now. I think. Yeah, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's taken. Popular. It's taken. Well, they've had four out now. Um, yeah, uh, one, two, and three, and the one for the PSP. So and they've yeah. got another one out on the PSP coming out soon. All right, so, 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 so yeah. that's a good franchise. Yeah. It's to be fair, they've done bugger all with it. <laughs> It hasn't changed as far as I can see. Yeah, well, I mean, if, if it works. The number of characters you could have on a screen at any one time, that's pretty much it, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, yeah, I just, found, I just found out another franchise that's not on there that I think should be on there. Moral Combat. Yes. Mm. Well, actually, yeah. actually, is Street Fighter on there either? That's a good point. Uh, Street Fighter's not on there either. Yes. Oh, dear. Wow. The, the game oh. with the most sequels, or pretty much the most sequels, for one game... Street Fighter 2. Street Fighter 2's not on there. No. <laughs> what about the sequel? Street Whoa, Fighter 2 on, has. Hang on a second. I'm looking for Mega Man and I cannot see it. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Again, Mega okay, Man. Okay, actually, to be fair, Mega Man's had, what, 10, 10. 20, 20 <laughs> 4, 34. It's had, it's had <laughs> nearly 50 sequels. Uh, it's, it's, it's had more games than most video game companies. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not on this list. <laughs> Why is it not on this list? How is it not on this list? Peter, yeah. We well, hope you're recording this so we can send this to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's recording. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, it, it, I mean, move through this a bit. But God of yeah. War, we think yes. Yes. Yeah. Twenty nine yeah. is the Elder Scrolls. Yeah. 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 Obviously, uh, 28 row and Little Big Planet is 27. Yeah. In, 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 in a few years, possibly. Uh, 26, we have Rock Band. How many sequels has yeah. that had? Rock Band's had one. two sequels. Mm. One, well, well, one sequel. Well, PSP and, one, packs. One, and one, well, one spin-off and a handful of, like, packs. Yeah. Well, no, cause, wait, we've had Rock Band 1, Rock Band 2, Rock Band on the PSP, Lego Rock Band... Yeah, not quite sure what we should make of that one. <laughs> yeah, but it's still a very early, early franchise that really should be on there. Yeah, really, it should. And it's like should, a better should, game. Should, a better should, game should be in that uh, position. Like we said, maybe like uh, you know Mega Man or you know Street Fighter or something like mm. that. You know? But the other, the other thing though is, okay, yes, what band is there? What about Guitar Hero? Regardless of whether it's be- which one's better, yeah, it should be up there. It, yeah, it, it is. It, it, we, we will be talking about it. It's yeah. coming up. Um, oh, is it? Oh, is it? Yeah. I don't see oh, it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, moving on. Um, we have at number twenty-five WWE SmackDown versus Raw. Now, I would have fit, said WWE SmackDown. Yeah, or just WWE that's much, game. That's a much broader range to work with because it without smackdown you didn't you wouldn't have smackdown versus raw there was a raw playstation game if i remember right there, there was a, well actually it was a raw free uh, xbox game i used to own it Ooh. it used to be called raw uh, raw is war but with the then there was play ps1 oh, anyway yeah. Uh, yeah there was a ps1 one i think it was warzone like raw warzone yeah like, was back in the day. But, I think we saw. Uh, let's we saw. Let's all, but again, it's all like that can be lumped in with just WWE. Yeah. Stop, but really yeah. 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 So really, WWE. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was, it's like, like WWE game friend in game series yeah. you know, or SmackDown. Too. Well, SmackDown was much more popular than any of its spin-offs, like uh, like well, Raw, yeah, so like uh, like uh, the WrestleMania games and whatnot. whatnot. Mm. But yeah. uh, no, you know, again, another game that we could have debated on for. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Right. Uh, uh, next up is Tomb Raider. Oh, wait, I would have had that lower. Yeah, had that it's lower. kind of gone down the toilet. Yeah, I, I after, think that's the right place four, that, actually. Yeah, after four, it just totally just... Yeah. Down, down the tube. Uh, yeah. I, I think that's right for it, because it is still a recognised franchise. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, 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 it's gone down the toilet, regardless. Yeah. It's, I think it's in the right place there. Mm. Uh, uh, another another franchise is kind of, well it's debatable but uh, oh, it no, has lots it is. of expansion packs for it The Sims at uh, oh, I'd say that's deservedly yeah, in there considering yeah. how big game it is admittedly again 
it's died. Its popularity's died. Yeah, it's um, died off. Well, yeah. the third one, the third one has actually killed it. But yeah, the first and second one, its popularity was through the roof. Yeah. Yeah. For for PC games. So, so yeah, it it, can deserve it deserves it there. Yeah, I don't think it deserves its place there. No. No. Maybe a bit lower, but. No, I think that's about. I think same same argument as Tomb Raider. It's died a horrible, horrible death, but it's a recognisable franchise. And people still buy it. People still buy the second one. No, mm. the third one still sells. Doesn't sell. Mm. The thing is, everybody prefers the second one partially because there's so much free online content <laughs> from user-made stuff. Whereas on the third one, you have to pay for it all, no matter what. Yeah, that, that, that that's going to kill it. <laughs> All right. It has killed. It has. Well, yeah. I mean, moving on. Seen it. M- moving on now. Uh, number twenty-two. We have uh, Madden FL. Uh, NFL. Sorry. Madden. Sorry. Yeah. Madden F- that NFL. That actually makes sense. Yeah. Well, of happy. course, it's the U.S. equivalent of uh, obviously our football yeah. franchise here, yeah. FIFA. Obviously, so it does. It pretty much is okay. To Monstrous. Put it in there. Monstrous. In However. Sense. Why don't you just put EA Sports as a franchise? Well, well, yeah, well, no, actually, because sport different sports have their own different character, uh, you know, ca- uh, categories. Obviously, yeah. you can't you can't put golf along with football or yeah, uh, you know, whatnot. It's like, it's, it's I, I'm now imagining different. sport where golf and football are combined. <laughs> that, that that sounds like a very well, dangerous game. Hilarious. We got frisbee golf. What about football golf? That'll be fantastic. Is it? And here comes Wade Rooney. Or the tee off, <laughs> and he's up against uh, <laughs> Tiger Woods. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, next up, uh, where am I? Pac Man at number twenty one. Doesn't deserve to be there. It's As it's had it's had its sequels. Enough, the, it's like the sequel game, fair enough, but its sequels were terrible. Mm, but it, but it's a well remembered it's a well remembered franchise. Yeah, Pac-Man. this is Pac-Man. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, Pac-Man uh, Championship Edition was actually quite good, to be fair. Okay, mm-hmm. fair enough. Something uh, else to add to the list of games that didn't make it, mm-hmm. uh, which have an awful lot of, fra- of sequels and fran- is a, fra- a big franchise, Tales. Tales of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Symphonia. Oh, yeah. Symphonia, mm-hmm. Reaper. Uh, um, that's, a good, that's a good one, because obviously mm-hmm. the next one we've got up is actually a franchise done, you know, that kind of dominates that yeah. uh, genre of gaming, RPGs. Exactly. Final uh, Fantasy at mm-hmm. number 20. Yeah. Let's be fair, it deserves to be in the list. It does. Oh, good God, yes. Oh, but Jesus the next Christ. one doesn't. The next no, one no, really no, no, no. I, I would have thought Kingdom Hearts does, uh, does ain't it? Yes, no, it hasn't no, had no, a no, lot no, of no, games, no. but... It's, it's, a, it's a crossover, it's a spin-off. Yeah. But yeah, it is a spin-off. Mm. But how how is Kingdom Hearts, Hearts, which has had, what, three, four games? Three, I think. Well, three, four, five, five, nine. Well, had, well, how is that the... greater than Final Fantasy? Yeah, mm. it, it no. kind of defeats yeah. the point, point, purpose of, you know, what's a better franchise. If I was Square and I saw that list, mm. I'd be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> but then, <laughs> but thinking, oh, because obviously they're saying, hey... They like Disney more than us! <laughs> Dick I mean, Jesus! So the original characters that we've created are, and have, you know, bred and all those other things for nigh on how many years? 20? Yeah. Yeah. Is, is trumped by a mouse in shorts. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, hang on a sec. Let's be fair. And how I many people love Mickey Mouse and how many people love Cloud? I think Mickey Mouse is gonna win. Well, 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 I don't, I don't know. This, how many this, gamers this... love Cloud and how many gamers love Mickey Mouse? It depends yeah. which I'm sex you're asking. Mickey Mouse might actually win that one because Cloud. The greatest, car- greatest video game characters of all time. Where is Mickey Mouse on that list? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Whereas no, I think you find Cloud and Sephiroth were there all the time. Mm. But I, I think Kingdom Hearts as a series should be that high, mm. whether it should be on the list or not, I think is a bit more debatable, but certainly nowhere near as high. Yeah. Moving forward a bit, um, FIFA at 18, which I think is probably... The yeah, about right, sport, yeah. That's yeah, I'll go with that. Uh, mm. for, for a UK list, definitely. Yeah. For, yeah, it's very, it's very European. Mm. Actually, mm. For, for a worldwide list, FIFA should still be there, because FIFA does outsell Madden. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's a very European... 
Uh, so oh, even, in, even well, okay, obviously Madden sells better in the states, but oddly worldwide, FIFA still sells better than Madden. Mm. Yeah. Despite the fact that probably there are more Americans buying games than you know. Any other yeah, well, yeah, it is. Uh, uh, at number seventeen, we have RuneScape. How many sequels has that had? I have no idea. I don't think it has much. In fact, no. But it's, I, it's I been going it's, a while, hasn't it's it? It's got extend, I think it's got uh, expansion packs. Fair mm. enough. But as in terms of a franchise, it's kind of it's kind of like an underground, and I don't think it should really be that high. I, th- I would have expected to, it to be alongside with like you know Elder Scrolls, maybe. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. Like a, around that area, you know. But again, kind of controversial. But here's the here's the next controversial one. Counter Strike at number sixteen, which is below Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm. Which how many sequels has Counter Strike had? Well, it's a variation. It well, it's had variations like Source. Mm. That's pretty much it. Yeah, there hasn't been a Counter Strike two. There's no. Yeah, point. They're not. They're not even officially working on it, are they? Yeah, they're not. They're not well, no, because they don't work on Counter Strike anyway. It's, it was never made by Valve. It was a fan made spin off which they published. They've never yeah. actually done any work on it whatsoever. It's always been done by the original team who made the game. Yeah, mm. so really it has no bearing to be on this list. Yeah. At Isn't all. It a free game anyway. It's, I have no, no idea. It's not a free game because you've got Counter Strike Source was sold on the market. Oh, yeah, you know? good point. So, well, so, yeah, but you could, if you own the original Counter Strike, you could download it for free. Yeah, so what's the point? Uh, uh, well, yeah. You can have the entire game again. Mm. Again, for free. Brilliant. Well, it's like, I'll, I'll cook up some all, chips so we can celebrate. <laughs> Alternatively, you could take your game disc, install the game again, but in a different folder. Uh, <sighs> according to Joe Forever, they are working on a new Counter Strike, and there is a closed beta released at the moment. All right. Oh. So, so, so well, it could be, it could be close. Very close. And how, yeah. And how, how does it still emphasize it being a franchise when it was only like one freaking game? On the I plus mean, side, on the plus side, this is not the Counter Strike is not as good as Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Is, is at fifteen. Uh, but we do know what's better than Sonic the Hedgehog, and we can full heartedly agree on this. Half Life at number fourteen. Half Life, yeah. and this is this is again. They've got this one right, mm. but they've got other ones wrong. They've counted Half-Life as a franchise. The whole Half-Life games. And that yeah. includes Portal, the same universe. Mm. Uh-huh. True, actually. It includes yeah. um, Blue Shift and the other ones. The episodes of the before. second game. Yeah. Yep. You know, so, yeah, check that. it. That's Would like, everybody kill me if I said I didn't actually like Half-Life? I agree, it should be better. No, yeah. I, they, I didn't like the original game. I thought it was boring as hell. Well, the original game is quite yeah. uh, large, and it's quite lengthy. But obviously, the second one was the one that actually... Yeah, the, it was the one that oh. defined it. And, uh, well, whenever they get around to the third one, uh, it'll probably oh, suck. Can, can they at least tell us the end of the bloody story? Oh, it's not. No, no. You, you don't need to know. You don't know. You don't need to know the end of the story. No, no. That's not important. Oh, <laughs> what you don't know <laughs> is actually is Half Life Episode Three. Ah. All right, uh, if you're tuning in for Radio Redux, uh, this substitute show just running into the time a bit. It yeah. will start immediately after this show finishes when we finish this list. All right. Oh yeah. We've got another uh, thirteen to go. It shouldn't take long. Fourteen now, so. Yeah. Uh, Thirteen. Fallout. Again, questionable, mm. but but obviously. Well, I mean, the, 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 there's been three of them. Be on the list. Yeah, that's on the list because obviously the first two games on the PC, fair enough, they were cult followings. Yeah. But then obviously it was the third one that blew it into the proportion as a f- successful franchise. Yeah. And bearing well, in mind, there's a fourth, there's a fourth one on the well. way. Well, it's about another spin-off uh, this week. It has Fallout Tactics mm. and something else, which I can't remember. So, yeah, well, it's going to have Ve- New Vegas, yeah. another spin-off mm. this year. So, again, so, it's a franchise that has just blown from its ashes. Mm. You know? oh, I, I say it should be on the list, but not so high. Mm. Was, was new, is New Vegas being done by Obsidian? I have uh, no okay. idea. 
They'll be even faster again. I thought New Vegas were being done by Obsidian because um, they mentioned it at their talk on Alpha Protocol. No, I, I think this was. Uh, oh, I? I don't know actually. Mm. Uh, well, wouldn't that be? I mean, I know that someone was planning a Fallout RPG. Or, or, no, no, sorry, a mo- massively multiplayer one. Uh, that's oh well, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's being cancelled now. Uh, that was the one that was canned, right. Fallout, uh, New, yeah. Fallout New Vegas, uh, developed by Obsidian Entertainment. I like it. And published by uh, Bethesda. And, ah. and, and Co Bandai as well. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, they're publishing it in Europe, uh, in mainland Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. Okay. Odd. Anyway. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, yep. Evil. Evil. Resident Evil number 12, not bad actually. Yeah, I'd probably agree with that. It must be higher, I would have said. I, possibly. I, mm. I, well, I, uh, I, I mean, I would have expected it to be in the top 10. Speak, uh, again, another where is it? Um, it's it's rival. Where's his rival? Where's Silent Hill? That's a good point. Where's House of the Dead? Dead? Where's House, well, no, I don't I don't think, think, okay, House of the Dead? House of the Dead wasn't really big. As such. No, I mean, okay. that was a, should be on the list. Uh, Top 100 it was very at the bottom. Um, but uh, yeah, next one there. Obviously, everyone should. I think obviously this one, a lot of fans people deserve it. Yes, want it a lot higher, and it's Pokemon at number 11. Should be top 10, I think. Sure, yeah. yeah. About for the, for the amount of impact. Yeah. And when you, when you, when you yeah, think about yeah. the amount of consoles... Yeah, that and it also spawned an animation series yeah. of its own right that's been spanning through the franchise, the years still, years, still, years, still making episodes. Yeah, oh, so oh, yeah. really it's just like... A lo- it's it's kind of debatable why it's not in the top ten mm. of that section. So anyway... I'm just, to be Actually, honest, I, when, I would have said Pokemon could possibly be in the top three considering how... As a game franchise, how it's spread out. Yeah. And still does. You know how um, The Simpsons is, like, it holds the record for the greatest number of episodes of an animated series, yeah? Yeah. How far behind is Pokemon? That's a good question, because like they can't be far. Like, well, you see, you can, like question, you can questionably uh, say that for, like, uh, dra- the Dragon Ball series. Like, mm-hmm. if you combine the Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT. No, uh, Dragon Ball is very far behind. Yeah. Uh, as far as I'm aware, Pokemon is... I can tell you what um, episode Pokemon is on, though, um, through the powers of B. 645. Okay, what number are the Simpsons up to? No idea. Give me a second. To, 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 be, to be honest, down. I thought the Simpsons were around 600. So Anyway, here's another franchise that I think is a little too... Over, uh, overrated. That's actually yeah. gone into the top ten. Mm. Grand Theft Auto at S- number ten. I'll, I'll tell you what. Swap GTA and Pokemon around, and I'd be happy. I'm yeah, that'd be fine. Because yeah. obviously, Pokemon yeah. a, uh, a lesser known, uh, like a lesser franchise than Grand Theft Auto is kind of mm. quite a dick move, really. You know. Uh, okay, I, I'm going to point out um, Pokemon is very far behind The Simpsons. Oh. Do you want to guess what episode number it's on? Uh, 804. Yeah. 1,200. At least. What, 12,000? Uh, no, no, Josh, you know what? I think you're getting confused by the numbering on the episodes, because it would be se- series number and then the episode. Oh, I see me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Fair enough, I ain't getting confused. Hang on a sec. I need more research time. <laughs> yeah. uh, Back to the box. Well, we do that. Now, obviously, here's a number one. you start thinking here's... there's like 2,000 episodes. Okay. 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 okay, here's another franchise that, again, has spawned from the tree of confusion. Smash Brothers number 9. Mm. Super Smash Brothers at number 9. Uh, in the top 10. I, like, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a amalgamation of other franchises. I wouldn't have stuck it in there, really. Plus, plus really, it's... Ooh. Yep. It's actually the only fire on the, yeah. on the franchise. It's the only fire, uh, except if you, unless you count uh, WWE. Mm. Um, 
Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's the only fighter that's on there. It's the greatest fighting franchise of all time. So you, and every fight, every fighter, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, uh, Dead or Alive, Virtual Killer Instinct, uh, Killer uh, Instinct, um, King of Fighters, yeah, Tekken, yeah, Dragon Ball oh, Beta. It's like pale yeah, Tekken comparison. Uh, there we go. I found I found the um, number of episodes for Simpsons. Go on. Pokemon has been in it. Oh. Simpsons oh, right. has two hundred and sixty two. If we're going off the American count for Pokemon. Um come on. Um if we're going off the American count it's six hundred and twenty five. Mm. Um so you know there's still twenty behind. Well, why uh, yeah, why, so why is Pokemon has officially had this out. Yeah. <laughs> this is extraordinary. Why hasn't Nintendo pointed this out? Well, I mean, yeah, well, uh, po- you could just say Pokemon's an anime, not a cartoon. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think you'll, I think you'll have difficulty convincing people. Well, yeah. <laughs> Pokemon's anime. Anyway, well, uh, we'll, uh, we'll continue on anyway. Yeah. Uh, now, obviously, some of these franchises are okay, franchises are. So early in its development, it really yeah. shouldn't be in these uh, in this top ten. Yeah. Next one, in case in point, which is uh, Kev. Um, uh, bearing in mind it's um, of War Brother, if you like, was at number thirty. Yeah. Gears of War is a number eight. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, yeah. It's so... Like a, a franchise that's only about three years old. Is bigger than Pokemon or Final Fantasy or I, I would hazard a guess that um, Microsoft pays some money towards the publication of this. Oh film. yes. Yes. Um, right. Lo- looking at the top ten, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, N- Nintendo must be contributing a bit as well. I think everyone yeah, comes back. In true Jocelyn style, I now have food. Hey, well, my food is experience. currently getting cold on the other side of the room. <laughs> well, don't um, get it then, you silly gear. I'd be gone yeah, for about you ten you minutes. Don't have to do this. Um, but anyway, it's He's like. Turned it off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't. Uh, that's all we're talking about. Anyway, where did we get to, guys? Um, well, just, we're just, we're just lambasted Gears of War for being a Microsoft, um, a Microsoft dollar placed. Mm. <laughs> Placed franchise. Well, along with one of the higher ones, anyway. Yes. yes. Uh, at number seven, it's the game which isn't really a game, more of a intense experience of paying it over, paying the company for it over and over again. It's World of Warcraft. And, yeah. and again, again, it only emphasizes on World of Warcraft, yeah. not yeah. Warcraft. Warcraft as a franchise. Yeah. You know, it's just like, what the fuck. Uh, well, let's be okay. fair, War, uh, World of Warcraft probably is big enough to... Yeah, it, it is a yeah. huge fran- <laughs> It is a huge game. I mean, whilst it may not qualify as a franchise, it's been going so long now and it's got so many people on it they'd, that a lot of people would complain if it wasn't there. That's true. Um, next one, obviously, our hated rival. Uh, again, spawning from the tree of confusion, is uh, Super Mario Brothers at number six. And mm. of course, it's got it's got, it's got it's got it's got its rightful place to be in the top ten. Yeah, but just missing out of the top five, let alone the top three. Mm. No, I say it should be higher. Yeah, I, 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 I would have put it higher. Remember the the argument I said would come back. Mm. Um, Mario Kart being at forty seven, mm. that has cost Mario. It's a higher position mm. by them not lumping them together. Well, along yeah. with Super Smash Brothers as well. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not so sure you can read because that's so much problems is so many. Yeah. Well, true, I suppose. But it's a hard, it's all so so that that's very much uh, that's cost Mario mm, a top yeah. five, if not yeah. top three. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Um, next one, Josh, you want to t- handle that one? Hang on, I can't eat him. All right. Uh, I would substitute. I would substitute for uh, Bart as I'm substituting for Sven. Hmm. And I was. Who you are substitute for Sped Dub Eating? <laughs> <laughs> We're all substitutes. Metal Gear is at number five. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
that's a, that's yeah. understandable because Metal Gear. Well, obviously Metal Gear as a whole, it did start well back in the eighties mm. and whatnot, but obviously it didn't hit off until Solid came around. Yeah. Mm. So. And it's still one of those um, friends people one, sort of go. Mm. But the next mm. one. Aye, but yeah. uh, aye, the, the, they kind of go. Meh. But the next one, and number four, should it be there? It should not be it, there. It's, it's yeah. Dance Dance Revolution for your hands. Oh, yes. wait, where's Dance Dance Revolution? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> a good point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, actually. Some, some will, uh, someone listening will actually point that out. Hmm. Uh, no, it's Guitar Hero at number four. Okay, fair enough. It is a big franchise, but really, do you think it's better than, you know... Uh, okay, what, right, let's go for the bit. Is it better than... Pro Evo. No. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe is it better it is. than Crash Bandicoot? Is it better than... <laughs> yeah, okay. That's is it, is is it, it better than, than like, Sonic? Below everyone else. Do you say it's, it's better than those? It's what officially it's officially better than both Metal Gear, Mario Brothers, and World of Warcraft. The three directly below it. Yeah. And Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I. It's, 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 it's absolutely... And ridiculous. Sonic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm insulted. And for every Final Fantasy ever, it's not as good as... Apparently playing um, Fire and Flames <laughs> on, the on, on a pl- cheap piece of plastic shite. Yeah, uh, let's let's, uh, let's leave you tied there in his yeah. in his rotting corpse. Uh, oh, the highest yeah. Nintendo franchise game is Legend of Zelda at three. Uh, yeah. Which I honestly think again deserves to be in the top three. Zelda, oh, uh, it, mm. it deserves in the top three, but I think I'd even, it's, say, even say it's in the right position at, at three. Yeah. Huh. yeah. But if, the next I, 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 I would be happy if it was itself number one. I really would. Right. I would be happy if it was at number one. I, I mean, I've played through this franchise, and uh, i played through the games. Some of them I didn't like, some of them I did like, but I I wouldn't agree if... I wouldn't, I wouldn't object if it was number one. Because yeah, it deserves... Yeah. Hmm. I think the thing... Certainly for me, that extends Zelda above Mario is the fact that Mario hasn't done anything. It's had it's had one revolution in Mario sixty four, and then everything's just been the same. Over yeah. With a gimmick. Yeah, and then the least Zelda converting back to works. Mm. Yeah, Although but people don't want people don't want changing it. People don't want changing it every time. They want the same thing over and over again. Mm. Just that's why we're in the Sonic friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but no, the two games above it, oh dear, I don't yeah. think these these should be in these positions. Num- yeah. Number number, number, the number two should definitely not be in yeah. the top fifteen at least. I, uh, I, I think it's just there even because even it's though, got recent even popularity. Re- most recent games have just made it into a groundbreaking franchise, and it's just absolutely whoring money out of its ass. It's it's not without its flaws, people. <laughs> Because mm. this franchise is killing people. Literally killing people. Like, with, you know, these lawsuits and all that mm. and whatnot. And what is it? It's Mario oh, Call of Duty. Duty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Call of Duty. It, yeah. Call of Duty is killing people. Yes. And it needs to be stopped. Yes, yeah. yes it does. Act- obviously, Activision going well beyond its limits. And obviously, firing good people, you know, for nothing, pretty much. No, they're firing them to profit, thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we could talk about Infinity War and all the problems with that for a very, very long time. But <laughs> it's, <laughs> somewhat, it's somebody else's radio yeah. time now. Oh, yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> yeah. But, but of course, the number one, we oh, have to be. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> atrocious play. This, yeah. Fair enough. It's been. It has a decade under its belt, but seriously, why? It's permission been... to buy a new permission to buy a sequel, sir, so I can finish the fight that I was currently fighting. <laughs> <laughs> permission to die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the reason it's number one. It's because guess who is one of the sponsors of that particular publication. I would no, never know. I don't know. No, you could never guess. Sony. 
<laughs> well, you'll have to find out that next time. Next on time the on the Sonic, Sonic Hour. Hour. Where, where Sven Jocelyn will materialise and give a grovelling apology to each and every one of you. Yes, and us. And us. Well, actually, and, and we'll not stop even bothering to notify F+. people. <laughs> not even bothering to notify people that his show wasn't going to be on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This is because he's, he's, just he's just playing M Plus on the Xbox. What does everyone actually got like? him on your? Everyone has got him and on you know your uh, Xbox friends account. Please feel free to just message him, going where you, your show is on. Where are you, you dick? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have my, you have all of our permission to do that. Yes. Right now, if you want to know what his gamer tag is, so you can add him. To do it. <laughs> Dreadnuts. Dreadnuts, yeah. Yes. And funny enough, I think it's Dreadnuts on PSN as well. So if you see Dreadnuts on PSN, by all means. All anyway, right. If he hasn't been online on the PSN before, and I will tell you, because I have my PlayStation on still because I was in the middle of God of War. Well, uh, sadly we don't have enough time, I guess, because we're just invading too much time from yeah. uh, Radio Redux. For radio sake, people are wondering where I am. Yes. So, so anyway, we will be finishing this off, and uh, we live it we'll to leave Phil. with no music as well. <laughs> right, uh, no music. We'll leave it to Phil to do that. So All right, well, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm no music. Just no music. music. No right, music. Okay, well, I can give you one, we'll minute, one minute 50. Anyway. To, one minute 50. One minute 50. To prepare. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what Phil's laughing all about, but anyway. Yeah. Uh, right. I've been Archie and UK. I've been Vija. Josh. I've been and I've been Turbo. And this has not been, been the Sonic Hour. The Sonic Substitute Hour. <laughs> hour that, that'll yeah. work. Yeah. Right. Work. Cut. Print. 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 That's coming out right now. Yeah. See you in a bit. Cut. Print. That's the end. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.